What's going on guys? Back at you with another small shop update video. But I figured while I was doing this video, uh, some of the maintenance that I was doing on the Banshee, I might as well, I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm doing here because I've encountered a problem that I've actually never had before. Um, it's with the pingle valve. Well, it's not actually a pingle valve. It's a pingle style valve. Let me show it to you so you know what I'm talking about. I have it right here. So this is not an actual pingle uh, for people that are familiar with them. This is actually a Vito's performance one. It's kind of like a replica, and you can see how dirty it is. So when we were out at the dunes, uh, we had some issues really late towards the end where the carburetors were leaking and stuff. And uh, I did just get done cleaning up the carbs for the Banshee. And they were pretty dirty, man. So I think the, uh, the needle valve seats needed to be cleaned out, and that's why they started leaking. But they should be good to go now. And I was getting ready to put them back on, and I was going to clean up this pingle valve. But I've never actually had one of these leak before, and I've never had one of these before, uh, part before either. So I figured we would do it together in case one of you guys has the same problem. Well, I'm sure that this is rebuildable. I imagine there's like an O-ring or a seal in here or something that went. You can see it's got the, uh, the screen filter on there. And there's a little ring clip around it. So we'll see if we can pull that off, clean it out, and blow it out with air. Make sure that it's good to go. It's really easy to get off. Um, basically, you know, you pull your lines off. Let's thread it in right here. Literally just spins right in there. Just use an adjustable to pull it off. Give you guys a closer look at this dirty piece of crap. This thing's really actually not a piece of crap. These are pretty expensive, believe it or not. So the whole idea of this is that it has more fuel flow than the stock valve. That's why it's called a dual pingle valve. Well, and like I said, this is a pingle style valve. I'm not actually sure what this valve would be called, I guess just a dual petcock, but it also has larger diameter um, inlets here, or outlets rather, and uh, a high flow screen. It's supposed to be high flow anyway. But yeah, so let's clean this thing off and uh, see if we can get it pulled apart. <laughs> That looks a little bit better. Let's get into pulling this thing apart. First thing we'll do is pull off this little clip. It looks like it's holding the screen on. And then we will pull this out. It looks like a roll pin is holding this together. So we'll uh, pop this in the vise and punch that out. All right, let's see if we can do this without ruining the screen. That wasn't too bad. All right, we'll pull this, looks like a wave washer off, like a spring washer. All right, so I kinda was looking over this thing, trying to figure it out. And from what I understand, this portion needs to be pressed out. So you can get to the top of it in through this hole. You guys probably can't see it, but I'm gonna press it out with this bolt. And I have a 22 millimeter 12 point socket that fits over this end nicely. So we can put this in the vise and we should be able to push it through. Yep, there it is. And sure enough, guys, we've got a broken O-ring. So you can see inside here, there's an O-ring on that side and then missing on this side. That's this broken one. So that was an easy find. I should have O-rings right here to replace those. And then we'll just clean this thing out, put, press it back together, and uh, that should be an easy fix. So this one looks good, but might as well replace them both. And here is the section that opens and closes the valve. So depending on how this is lined up, will dictate whether or not it will flow. It looks like the gas comes down through here and then comes out these two holes. And if these two holes are spun in the correct orientation with the two ports, the gas will flow. And we have another O-ring right here. We might as well go ahead and replace that too. All right, let's see if we can find the right size O-ring here. That looks about right. All 
Now this might be a little difficult getting these to stay in place. I imagine when these are assembled, these two fittings are pressed in with the O-rings. All right, well, it turns out that these two little outlets actually do come out. So I just put this in the vise and twisted it out with an adjustable, and it looks like we'll just have to press it back in. So instead of taking both of them out, I am just going to, it's easy to get the one O-ring in. And now with it like this, we can just go ahead, drop a new O-ring in, and then we'll press this in place with the vise. And actually, before we press that brass fitting in, Let's press this collar in. So I just got sockets on both ends. Make sure we don't damage anything. And we'll just press that in place. You can see everything's lined up. Now we'll put this little wave washer on. Now we'll tap our roll pin back into place. And the last thing I wanna do is just blow out our little screen. All right, let's see if we can get this thing on here without breaking anything. So there it is, pretty easy. All right, so there's our petcock. This thing's ready to go. So we'll put a little bit of Teflon on here, screw this thing in, put our carbs in, uh, some new fuel lines, and we'll see if this thing holds. All right, this thing's very easy to put on. Literally just threads right in. All right, now I'm gonna throw my carbs on. I'm actually gonna throw these on with no lines because we're waiting on some fresh lines from AP3 Racing. So just to test this out, and I wanna do a sound check with these mufflers because we're actually gonna be chopping down the mufflers pretty soon here, not in this video but I want to do a sound comparison. So we do want to put the carbs on to see what they sound like right now. Is it just me or do these key and screw on caps? I always want to cross thread. There we go. All right, let's put some gas in this thing. All right, well, it must have worked because the gas is not flowing. So let's turn on the gas and we'll see if it flows. Hopefully you guys will be able to see. Oh yeah. Yeah, we're good to go. All right, so we're good to go. Our fuel pet cock is nice and tight. We have no leaks. The carburetors are nice and clean. So what would this video be though without firing this bad boy up? So let's just fire the old bat up and uh, you guys can see what it sounds like because we will be chopping down these mufflers. So let me fire it up real quick and then we'll talk about that. Oh, she's smoky. I got a real rich mixture in here. Good old reliable. It's always good to hear the Banshee run. I really do love this quad. So what I'm planning to do here, um, I think I had mentioned this in another video. I really want to cut these mufflers down. They don't sound bad. Like what you guys just heard, you're probably going to be like, dude, I, I think that sounds pretty good. And it does. I mean, it really doesn't sound bad, but it is quiet. And in comparison to like Toomey's... <laughs> CPIs, shearers. I just 
think the other pipes sound, they've, they've got like a, it's like a really, really iconic banshee sound, like the snap, crackle, pop. And these are really muffled. You can see how long these mufflers are. They're, they're pretty big and the, the outlet is really small. And I think that is for back pressure because these pipes, I believe, are built more for torque. Uh, so if we chop these down, I'm thinking about making them nice and short. Chop them about right here. That's like almost half, not quite. And then I'm going to make, uh, probably I'll use these same exhaust tips, but I'm going to make them custom. Make a bigger opening and maybe just put like a little bit of an outlet. I could do that or I could put my FMF tips in there. I measured them. They're almost, I think, the exact same um, size and shape as these SLP ones. So I could do that, but I kind of like things to have a unique look. So I'm probably going to make custom tips and changing the diameter of the tip will actually change the tone of the, the exhaust. I've experimented with that um, on other machines, never on a two stroke, but that's what I plan to do. Now down the line, I may uh, invest in a different system, but this is a really cost effective way. And I like to modify things. It's always cool to do that. So I'm going to be using this um, aluminum chop saw or aluminum chop saw blade anyway. I do have the chop saw, but this should cut through that aluminum, no problem. And then these are the old fuel lines. I'm gonna be getting new fuel lines because these have started to get like hardened and dry just from the years. And we're gonna be getting those from AP3 Racing. If you guys are interested in new fuel lines because I love trick fuel lines, check out the ones on the 250R. You can see my breather valve, all my carb lines. Having nice hoses really adds a nice touch to your bike. So if you guys want hoses, definitely hit up ap3racing.com. And if you use the promo code SABO20, you'll get 20% off. Okay, guys. So for now, that will be it. I just wanted to give you guys a small update video. And I figured I would show you guys cleaning that fuel pack cock. Because like I said, I've never actually done that before. So I figure I'll share that experience with you guys just in case it happens to you. Now, in the future, I will be doing that Banshee um, exhaust chop video. And I'm currently working on the budget video for the 250R. I know I said that I was going to be going riding um, this past Monday. Unfortunately, I couldn't get anybody to go riding with me and places to ride are not exactly right down the road from here. Uh, but anyways, regardless, I'm going to be taking it out hopefully this Saturday. I think I have Jason wants to come ride with me. Uh, we'll take it up to the coal mines, which is a, a known spot because doing the testing and stuff and making sure that everything runs right. I don't want to take it to a new spot or anything. So that's where we're going to be going. We'll, we'll have some riding footage with the 250R. Some other new stuff that's coming up. If I had mentioned in another video that we heard some weird sounds coming from the, the transmission on the Maverick. I think we have a bad bearing in there. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but luckily I found a way that we can pull off the side cover. I don't think we have to remove the transmission. I'm not 100% sure, but that will be a quick project. Uh, probably won't be like a tutorial or anything like that. Now, one other thing I wanted to mention before I let you guys go. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I made a post mentioning that I may be doing a series with JST, Justin Sturgill Trucking. Some of you guys are probably familiar with him now. He's the Panther Piss guy. It's called Panther Piss. The Panther Piss? <laughs> Hold on, let me go get you a can of Panther Piss. So if you're not familiar with him, he did build a 250R. It's really badass. Honestly, it's more even more badass than mine is. Uh, we're going to be doing a series together. We're not 100% sure what the parameters will be, but it will be a face-to-face -face thing where we're going to be facing off the machines let us know in the comments section below how interested you would be in that we all live really far apart you know we're like in, it's in, i think it's about eight hours to get the justins if you guys are interested in that uh, definitely let us know in the comments section below what you guys would want to see and until the next one guys we will be going live soon as well uh, justin and i and we're going to see if we can get like a live feed going on youtube kind of discussing those things with you guys the fans to make sure we can bring some content to you to you guys that you really want to see so please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell if you enjoyed this content and you want to see the build series also remember to hit that thumbs up button that helps me out a lot i love all of you guys i will see you in the next one peace out